Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Svenja and in this episode I'm going to be sharing a 15 non-garment, simple and quick, stash busting and free knitting pattern ideas for you to make this holiday season. I don't know about you, but it feels like regardless of how prepared I am going into the holiday season, I am still left scrambling for that perfect last minute project idea. So this year I thought it'd be fun to come up with a collection of patterns that all meet a certain criteria to make for that perfect last minute gift. So I had five criteria for these patterns to meet to be on this list. Number one is being a non-garment, nothing that you are going to necessarily wear like a shawl or a sweater. Number two is being universal, so fitting a range of ages and then being gender neutral as well. Number three is using a small amount of yarn, so something that was great for stash busting and didn't mean that you necessarily have to go out and buy more yarn to make. Number four, being simple and quick to make. So because they use small amounts of yarn, they're fairly fast to fly off the needles. And five is being free. So you can easily browse the pattern before you commit to casting on. Most of these are Ravelry uh, downloads, but some are available on websites that have a paid for version. But in general, all of these patterns should be free. While I haven't knit each and every one of these patterns, I will be doing my very best to share as many details as I can as we talk through them. You will notice that there are a few different patterns for the same type of project, and that's just to give you a little bit of variety in terms of designer and pattern style writing. You can find all of these patterns and some more details in a Ravelry bundle that I will be linking in the description of this video. And to sum things up, I just hope this list inspires you to make something for that special someone in your life that really appreciates a handmade gift this holiday season. So let's get started. So the first pattern on this list is the Simple Scrappy Cowl by Helen Stewart. This is a paid for version on Ravelry, but you can find a great free version on her website. I just love how simple and cute this cowl is. It would be perfect for someone who just wants like a little something around their neck, would look really great with a jacket or over a sweater. So it looks like a very straightforward knit. It's got some ribbing, stockinette, and these little eyelet sections, which is, you know, keeping the knitting interesting, but still straightforward. It calls for fingering weight yarn, um, roughly 460 yards total. But as you can see in her sample, she stripes hers and every stripe uses about five grams of yarn. So this would be a great project to use up some yarn scraps from like socks or other fingering weight projects. Um, also great for advent projects, or you could also make a solid version that would look really beautiful. I also think it's easily adjustable to other yarn weights, so you could you know, easily substitute a DK or worsted. Um, you just might want to decrease a few stitches that you cast on, um, but again, it looks pretty straightforward and something that could easily be modified. The second pattern is the mini Christmas stocking ornaments by Little Cotton Rabbits or Julie Williams. This is a free Ravelry PDF download, clearly a super cute decorative ornament. The final size is about 10 centimeters or 4 inches from top to bottom. These are knitted flat and then seamed, um, but taking a look at the pattern, you could easily adjust to be knitted in the round. Uh, there's actually a photo tutorial in the pattern as well, so you know, easy to follow along if you're a little worried about knitting these flat. It calls for fingering weight yarn and only about five to seven yards. So you know, perfect for those extra yarn scraps that you never know what to do with. Um, there are some extra charts for like additional color work, um, including personalized letters, which would be cute to do um, throughout the Ravelry page and then links to other people who have made this pattern before. I think they're really cute to use these as part of gift wrapping. So like with, you know, some twine or some ribbon, you could even put like a little twig of greenery or like a candy cane in them to really kind of dress them up a little bit. So super cute and um, yeah, these are adorable. 
The third pattern is another version of a mini Christmas stocking. These are the Tiny Tree Socks by Summerly Designs, who is one of my favorite sock knitting designers. This is another free Ravelry download, and I love the idea of this being strung into like a little sock garland. I think it's super cute. Again, it could adorn like a present or, you know, a gift wrapping situation. Um, these use 26 grams of fingering weight yarn. I love the idea of striping or adding like a little color work into these. The pattern has multiple heel options and a tutorial for an afterthought heel. Again, perfect pattern for scraps or even advents. Just a super sweet little ornament or decorative home decor item. The next pattern is the hot water bottle cover by Emily Bolduan. This is another free Ravelry download. This is clearly like a little sweater for a hot water bottle. I think this would be a super comforting, thoughtful gift to receive. Um, it is knit flat or in the round. The pattern has two different options. It calls for roughly 200 yards of DK weight yarn. And I really like the sample being knit in a hand dyed yarn. I think this would be the perfect project to use up that one hand dyed skein that you don't know what to make with. And yeah, I think this is just super sweet. And again, a comforting present to receive, maybe gift with a hot water bottle or some other little cozy accessories or gifts, just a really nice pattern. The next pattern is Main Street by Tin Can Knits. This is a little coffee cozy. This is a free Ravelry download, and it looks like this cozy fits an average like commercial coffee cup that you would get out at a coffee shop. I think it would be perfect for anyone who loves coffee or tea. It calls for roughly 50 yards of a DK weight yarn, but I do think that this could easily be modified to you know, use up fingering weight if you hold that double or even a worsted weight yarn. There are some tutorials listed for the techniques used in the pattern, and I would love to gift this like with a little mug or even like a little gift certificate to a coffee shop. All around, just a really nice gift to knit this season. The next pattern is the Hubby Hat by Anna Joanna. This is another free Ravelry download. This is one of my favorite hat patterns of all time. I've knit this time and time again. I just love how simple this hat is. It is a all stockinette reversible hat, basically knit in a long tube with decreases at both ends, and then you tuck one into the other, making it a reversible and double thick hat. You could easily color block or stripe this hat. I've also made this in a solid color, which is just as nice. It calls for approximately 260 yards of sport weight yarn at a gauge of approximately 20 stitches to 30 rows on a US size four needle. I've easily modified it to a DK weight yarn. Um, so one of my favorite hat patterns, perfect for that person who's simple and you don't know what type of hat to knit, this is the pattern. The next pattern on this list is the QT Mittens by Jenny QT. Not quite sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I gave it my best shot. This is another free Ravelry download. This is a felted mitten pattern. I think it is beautiful and simple and would be great for a variety of people in your life. Who doesn't love a pair of warm mittens? It calls for an Aran weight yarn, approximately 60 grams of a recommended yarn called Let Lopi, which is a Icelandic yarn. If you're going to substitute, I would not recommend anything that is super washed because it's not going to felt. Um, Let Lopi, one skein has about 109 yards for 50 grams, so you need roughly like a skein and a half of Let Lopi, which is a very you know, cost effective project. This is a simply written pattern, meaning that there's not a lot of extra instructions in terms of knitting mittens. So if you are a novice mitten knitter, I would not necessarily recommend this be your first pattern, but it is a pretty quick pattern for anyone who's made mittens before. Um, you do just have to account for the time that felting will require as well as the drying time. The next pattern is the Classic Ribbed Hat by Pearl Soho. This is hands down one of my favorite all-time hat patterns. You can find this pattern for free on their website, but it is also available through Ravelry. This spans five sizes, all the way from baby to adult large, so 
a great range of sizes. It asks for a DK weight, and depending on the size that you're knitting, anywhere from 110 to 305 yards. The possibilities are endless. You could make a solid version, you could stripe this, you could color block this. I think it's just a perfect classic one by one ribbed hat. Has some beautiful decreasing and it's just a really versatile pattern for anyone that you want to knit a hat for. The next pattern is another Pearl Soho pattern. This is the corner to corner washcloth pattern. You can again find this pattern on their website. This calls for a fingering weight yarn and approximately 135 yards per washcloth. I think this would be great for all that leftover cotton yarn you had laying around from either spring or summer projects. And I think this would be really cute to make a like little collection. So, you know, two, three, four washcloths, whether they're matching or mismatched, or even like incorporating like a little stripe or corner of a little color contrast would be really cute. I think it'd also be really nice to package together with like some soap or as part of like a kitchen themed gift set, maybe like a candle or some baked goods. I just really love, you know, how versatile something like this for the home can be and what better to knit it. The next pattern is another hat pattern. This is the 2x2 two by, two by Ann Gagnon. Again, another free Ravelry download. This is a really great 2x2 two two ribbed hat pattern. It is a worsted weight pattern, so a little heavier than the ones we've been talking about. It calls for about 200 yards on knit on US size 6 needles, and I really love how these crown decreases look. I think this would be a really great like watch cap style or like hipster um, beanie for anyone that kind of likes that style. So yeah, just a really nice standard two by two hat pattern. The next pattern is the Weekend Shorty Socks by Summerly Designs. This is another free Ravelry download. If you have enough time on your hands and you want to make a pair of socks, what better than to make a pair of shorties, which take a little less time and especially these would be really fun to mismatch and kind of use some scraps and make them super fun for the holidays. These come in six sizes ranging anywhere from toddler to adult. They are knit in fingering weight yarn and call for 200 yards or less for all of the sizes. I think it'd be really fun to theme them for the holiday so using like red and um, green yarn or just kind of mix and match scraps would be super fun. If you need help with this or just sock knitting in general, this is a pattern that's based on um, her I'm So Basic sock pattern, which is one of my all-time favorite sock patterns and it has a really great tutorial for all those steps involved in sock knitting. So if that's something that interests you, then be sure to check out the I'm So Basic sock pattern as well because it again has a lot of those helpful tips if you want to make a pair of socks this holiday. Staying on the sock train, and the next pattern is the Scrappy DK Socks by Stephen West, which is another free Ravelry download. This is a super simple top-down DK sock pattern. It is available in five sizes, spanning the foot circumference size of 18 to 28 centimeters. Looks like it's super customizable. You can use lots of different scraps. Stephen West recommends holding two fingering weight yarns together to make a DK weight. And there are also video links for tutorials for the cast on and the heel included in this pattern. So overall, just a really great DK weight sock pattern and perfect if you wanna make some scrappy socks for that special someone in your life. Next pattern is Frida by Emily Lewis. I love this beautiful basic twist headband. I think it's a perfect accessory for anyone who doesn't like to wear hats. This uses less than 100 yards of DK weight yarn. The sample actually holds fingering and lace weight mohair together, really making it like a luxurious accessory. I know there's lots of versions of this type of pattern online. I really like this one because the photo tutorial included shows you kind of step by step how you assemble and sew together that twist. So beautiful, super simple project could easily, you know, make it in a worsted or even an Aran weight yarn for something a little bit more bulky. Um, but yeah, just a really beautiful accessory. 
The next pattern is the Arched Gusset Mittens by Pearl Soho, another pattern you can find for free on their website. I've made this pattern several times and really love how these mittens turn out. I think they're a really great written pattern, they fit really nicely. There's five sizes, anywhere from kid to adult. It calls for approximately 100 to 200 yards of worsted weight yarn. I've easily substituted DK and a mohair, really amping up the luxury. Um, they're easily customizable as well. You can extend the cuff, making for a fancier glove. Just really universal and a great uh, gift option. The last but not least pattern is the Tiny Sweaters by Malia Mae Joseph. This is another free Ravelry download. Clearly a really cute little tiny mini sweater pattern. Um, they've made it into a little ornament, but you could easily use this to adorn like gift wrapping or even make a sweater garland, which would be really cute. These are knit top down on US size seven needles in a DK weight yarn. It asks for approximately 10 to 15 yards per sweater. There's just so many options to do color work or even embroidery. Um, and there's also instructions on how to make a hanger in this pattern, which I thought was adorable. So really cute pattern, probably my favorite on this list. So that leads me to leave you with a little bonus for the end of this episode. So last holiday season, I got super crafty and started making these little sweater ornaments, which I then wrote up a little pattern recipe per se, which I now have available on my Ravelry as part of a project. So I will be sure to link that in the description of this video as well. So if that's something that is interesting to you, then I hope you check it out. So that about wraps things up. I really hope you enjoyed this knitting pattern roundup and have some inspiration to go into the holiday season with. As always, happy knitting. Let me know what you're making this season and yeah, see you next time.